Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into Proxmox vs. QMU in 2025, two powerful virtualization solutions. Whether you're setting up a home lab or managing enterprise-level virtual machines, understanding the differences will help you choose the best option. Proxmox. Proxmox is an open-source virtualization management platform that combines KVM, kernel-based virtual machine, and LXC, Linux containers, with a user-friendly web interface. It's designed for both beginners and advanced users looking for a comprehensive virtualization solution. Features. Proxmox includes a web-based UI, backup and restore options, high availability clustering, and built-in support for ZFS storage. Use case. Best for users who want a full virtualization environment without dealing with command line configurations. Pros. Easy to manage, enterprise ready, and comes with robust security features. Cons requires more system resources compared to lightweight virtualization tools. QEMU, Quick Emulator, is a lightweight and flexible open source emulator and virtualizer. Unlike Proxmox, it doesn't have a built-in management interface, but is often paired with libvirt or vert manager to simplify management. QEMU supports a wide range of CPU architectures and allows full system emulation, making it highly versatile. Use case, best for developers, embedded systems testing, or running VMs on low resource environments. Pros, highly customizable, supports multiple architectures, and can run without hardware virtualization support. Cons, lacks a built-in management interface and requires manual setup. Conclusion, choose Proxmox if you want a complete, user-friendly virtualization solution with an intuitive UI, backup tools, and enterprise features. Choose QMU if you need a lightweight, flexible emulator or require multi-architecture support. If you're comfortable with command line setups, you can even use QMU inside Proxmox for additional customization. Both are powerful, but Proxmox is ideal for most users, while QMU is better for advanced setups and specialized use cases. Which one do you prefer? Let us know in the comments.